Good morning. Welcome to St. Anthony's. Today is the Solemnity of Mary, the Holy Mother of God. Today's Mass is offered for Yolanda Mars and for world peace. Let us take a minute to consciously acknowledge that we are in the presence of God and ask Him to help us to hear what He wants to say to us today. The first reading is a formula of blessing that Aaron and his sons are to use to bless their people. It is presented as an instruction given by God to Moses. Blessing for a Jew is an exchange of life. For God to bless a human being is for God to pour all the divine life and love into that human being. For a human being to bless God is to surrender all one's life and love to God. Mary was both blessed and blessing. A wondrous exchange. Mary and the Lord God have exchanged all that they are, surrendered to each other, and blessed is the fruit of thy union, Jesus. In the second reading, the phrase, born of a woman, simply means that Jesus is fully human. Yet Mary had a special role in our salvation. Mary is the mother of the whole church, human and divine. This means that she is the mother of God, even if God is the one who created her. This reading also beautifully underlines our sonship in Christ. If Christ is our brother through Mary, all of us are adopted children of God. Because of our adoption, we call God Abba, a very endearing title, meaning Dada. In today's Gospel, Mary's role in the salvation won by Christ is presented. First, as she is greeted by the shepherds with her newborn child in the manger, and then as she faithfully fulfills the prescriptions of the law regarding circumcision, naming her child Jesus in accord with his divine destiny. Mary, as she treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart, is an image of how every believer can be part of God's saving plan by contemplating and cooperating with the mystery of God. Mary's motherhood assures us of the full humanity of Jesus. We are no longer a slave, but a child. And if a child, then also an heir. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, you bless us with the pure, humble, and holy mother you gave to Jesus. Keep us firmly in your love through Mary's maternal mediation. Hail Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Give us number 693, Mary's Song.
Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Father. Happy New Year. Happy, happy New Year. Year. My brother and sister, it's indeed a happy, it is a new year. A new year, an opportunity to be with the Lord. Let us pause for a moment to reflect the times in our lives and we have for unable to leave the past behind. Embrace God's bright future, which He intends for us to have for these times in our lives that we have been unable to let go of our sinful ways. For these times, let us ask the Lord for His pardon and mercy. Lord Jesus, born of, under the law, Lord have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Christ Jesus, born of Mary, Christ have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, only begotten Son, Lord have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life.
The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord let his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you kindly and give you peace. So shall they invoke my name upon the Israelites, and I will bless them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be God. those under the law, so that we might receive adoption as sons. As proof that you are sons, God sent the Spirit of His Son into our hearts, crying out, Abba, Father. So you are no longer a slave, but a son, and if a son, then also an heir through God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Joseph, and the infant 
lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known the message that this had been told them about this child. All who heard it were amazed by what had been told them by the shepherds. And Mary kept all of these things reflecting on them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had seen and heard. Just as it, as it has been, had been told to them. When eight days were completed for circumcision, he was named Jesus. The name given him by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise you, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Happy New Year! Happy New Year, Father! Yesterday, throughout the world, for 26 hours, people have been celebrating New Year in 39 different time zones. Wild celebration, fireworks throughout the world. But my question to you is, what exactly are we celebrating? Do you and I really expect 2024? really going to be that different from 2023? Do you think the people in Ukraine or in Gaza Strip right now that today is celebrating no, no. when their houses and their lives are in ruin and their children and sons are, are in war? Do you really expect there will be no more war this year? No more homelessness that people who are who hunger for companionship will suddenly life will be completed for them. People who are hungry will be satisfied. Do you really expect New Year resolution to be kept? No. To be successful? Honestly, do you really expect any major changes? No. So I ask you, what is there so great about Happy New Year? I'm sorry to be a party pooper, but but it always begs the question to me. I'm always kind of intrigued. What, what exactly are we celebrating? It's like a fresh chance. Hope. Hope, a chance. Hope in what? Hope that things will get better. Okay, but what is the hope based upon? Humanity? On our government? Honestly. <laughs> what is the hope based upon? That people will make good decisions? That people will actually care for each other? Daisy? There's no hope for there's no hope. There's no happiness because you can't have hope unless without hope. Right, but my question is, I'm not arguing with you, Daisy. I agree with you 100%. But my question is, what is the hope based upon? Is it a high dream? What is this hope based upon? Yeah, and for me, it doesn't make sense unless the hope is based on something that is solid, that will deliver, that will happen. And that hope, Yes, that's what I'm talking about, Daisy. Exactly. Faith in what? Faith has to be in God, who's amazing and powerful. It really has to be hard this time. Yes, it is hard. And throughout the centuries, it's always been hard. But the hope is a, my hope, and I expect your hope, is in Jesus Christ. And that's the hope we hear in today's gospel where the shepherds travel from far away from a hard day of labor coming to Jesus. The Magi travel such a long way. They all came for one reason. And what is that reason? To adore, the child. To, adore to come and see the child. Not only to see a child, but ultimately what did they do after they, they saw the child? They came back and they glorified, praising God. Their life is forever changed now. That now they've seen this great vision. Now that's their hope of of God of mercy. And Mary experiences it a fullness for nine months, even before anyone else experienced it, because she literally carried the hope within her. For all you ladies and and gentlemen who's been who ever had a child. Didn't you have that hope within you? I would imagine even more so for women who, who carry a child in your womb. I mean, Juliana, you weren't that far off a long time ago, a while ago back, having this experience, did you? 
Didn't you have the hope when you would carry your little girl in your womb? Yes. I, I, I have no doubt about all. You hope things that she will be the child. You hope her to be, to be healthy and then hopefully to be a decent human being, to make a change in the world. To, and you hope that you will make a better world for her beside the nursery. You know, that's nice, but... But there has to be something more than that, a better world this child is going to grow into, that your children will have a better life than you, that you will give them. You and I, hopefully, have a part to play in a better world. But you know, I wonder, we may try our best, but is our best good enough? You know, sometimes you kind of care, it's like, oh my gosh, I did the best that I could, but really, is my best really enough? Sometimes, that means, what does that mean by sometimes? That means sometimes it's not going to be enough. But I, but I invite you, your best probably isn't enough, but it could be better. You know how your best could even be better? If you trust in God, not in your talent, not in your meager skill. I'm not saying you guys have no skill at all, but I'm saying what in relative to God all is possible that I offer what I meagerly have to you, Lord, and you're going to make something great out of this. You are going to do something incredible that I have no, no, no ability to see. Can you imagine Mary, a little girl, a 15-year-old girl of no significance that most of the world have never even heard? Her name was so common that... No one would have ever paid any attention to her. More than a little t having a little child in Bethlehem, a town of no name that no one would ever have heard of. From this girl comes the Messiah of the world. That this from this little girl is going to forever change the world. The Messiah whose life is more important than any other life. From this girl comes great faith. And I just invite you, my brothers and sisters, on this great feast day, begin, begin a new year. Putting your faith not in yourself, not in ourselves or anything other than the Lord. Because it's truly in the Lord that's, that's going to revolutionize our life. The only question is, do you and I believe that? Do you and I believe, believe, you know, really believe it? And especially hard when you don't see results in your life. You know, when you try so hard, you pray and pray and pray. Guess what? There'll be another war. And you see another homeless person on the street. You know, you see terrible things in the news and tragedy that people, things that people do to one another. It's heartbreaking. But in the in the midst of that darkness that we live in, comes the light of Christ. And this light of Christ is real. How do I know it's real? Because I've seen it in our life here at the parish, in our small community. I've seen it. People of great faith, people who have lived in the midst of trials and tribulation, that they, you know, that their faith is really alive within them. And perhaps they see things I couldn't even quite see in myself. I was just, you know, I was telling Annie Sanchez yesterday at Mass, I was saying, Annie, Gosh, you are such an inspiration to me, having stage four cancer. And I, you know, I hope and pray, God forbid, if I ever had this, the stage four cancer slowly dying away, I would have, I would feel the joy that you experience. And she says, "You will, Father." Yeah. Well, I mean, I was like, "How? Do, I don't know." I mean, I'm, you know what I mean? You hope to, but how do you really know until you're in that situation? How do you really know? Maybe she sees something in me that I can't see in myself. I mean, like you guys sometimes or see the potential within your children that they can't see within themselves. All they see sometimes in their life is failures and failures and, you know, how unattractive they are and how, you know, they got nothing in their life. They produce nothing. But you as parents sometimes can see, you know, I see goodness in you. I see greatness, the potential that you can do great things. Perhaps you don't even be able to see it yourself because I know you. Even you are before you were born, 
I knew you when you were in my womb. I knew you. And imagine how much more so the Lord knew us, even before we were born. He knew our name. He knew the person who will be. And he believed in us. The only question is, do we believe in ourselves? Do we believe in one another? Are we able to see the potential goodness in each person? Because God doesn't create junk. Everything God creates is good and beautiful. Whether they, whatever, no matter what ethnicity they are from, whatever the, who they are, even if they think they have no value, they are of value. Imagine if every race that really is having a hard time looking at each other as deep seas of human being as their enemies. Imagine if they're able to see the potential of the other person. They're not their enemy, but instead brothers and sisters. Imagine what a world be. I just invite you, my brothers and sisters, today. Pray for ourselves, pray for one another, pray for our world, that it would truly be, that everyone would have really a good reason to celebrate when they say Happy New Year. They have a reason behind it, besides just a blank sta you know, a statement that nobody really knows what it means, but a statement that means something, because it's based and their hope it's not on, our, on ourselves or one another, but on Jesus Christ, right. our Lord. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not me, constant to the Father, through him all things are made, for us a man for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was in his heart in the first of Mary, and he became man. For our sake he was crucified and pontified, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in the hearts of the churches. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and to see the one that had a will. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and the Giver of life, who proceeds with the Father and the Son, who is the Father and the Son, who is the Lord and the Lord of life, who has spoken to the cross. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess my baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I have the words of resurrection of the dead, and the life of the world to come. Amen. Through the Holy Spirit, Mary became the Virgin Mother of Christ. With the Blessed Mother, we offer our intercessions. That the church grow in unity through the words we have been taught to pray. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That war, racism, discrimination, and corruption disappear from the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That orphans find solace and tenderness in the Virgin Mary. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. 
that those with terminal illness, especially children, find healing and peace through the love of those who care for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That mothers know the love and support of our community of faith. <clears throat> Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That our parish community may seek the Lord's guidance in our efforts to evangelize and share the good news with those around us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That those who have died may come to enjoy perfect happiness and peace in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For our own personal and special intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. God, our Father, you blessed Mary as your chosen handmaid. Strengthen us as we join her song of thanksgiving. We ask these things through her Son, Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Our hand for the preparation of the gift is number 698, Ave Maria. our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it is 
is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in the mystery of the Word made flesh, a new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of the, our mind. So as we recognize in Him, God made visible, we may be caught up through Him in love of all things invisible. And so the angels and archangels, the thrones and dominions of all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as if our end we acclaim. <laughs> Remember, Lord, your church. Spread throughout the world and bring her the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Alexander, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep. In the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, and with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heir to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O oh God, Almighty Father, the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. 
this one aisle, we start to move from this side, front to back, and back to front, front. And if you let the person close to the wall, go first, before you, the return is easier. And I'm so happy you're here to share this meal with us. The Lord is my light.
Let us pray. We have received this heavenly sacrament with joy, O oh Lord. Grant, we pray, that may lead us to eternal life. For we rejoice to proclaim the blessed ever Virgin Mary. Mother of your Son and Mother of the Church, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Join. Remember, tomorrow there's no daily mass on Tuesday, on on Wednesday. Remember, join us for mass. We have adoration. No, I'm so confused this week. Everything <laughs> going on. On Wednesday we have a wonderful Bible study. Join us, and of course on Friday. Uh, aftermath, adoration, and benediction. Yeah. Oh, of course, and the healing mass on Friday, too. So join for the healing mass on Friday. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The mass is ended. Go in peace, the love, and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us now. The Lord is the snares of the devil. May God have the beauty of the humble and pray. And now, on the face of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast the hell of Satan and all the evil spirits who are out throughout the world seeking for the real souls. Amen. Our closing hymn is number 101 Rise Up, Shepherd, and Follow. <laughs> Thank you.